Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Playwright TypeScript series. In this video, we are going to talk about that do we have any support for single file upload or multiple file upload? But before that, I'll tell you one important thing. Whenever you have to upload a file, for example, let's say I really want to upload a file, I quickly go to my file to upload or let's say I really want to upload the search.csv file and click on open after that. So you can see that the file is uploaded here. So after that, you have to check one thing, inspect this particular element and then check that input type equal to file is there, name equal to up file is there, but there is no attribute like multiple attribute. So type is attribute, name is attribute, but there is no attribute like multiple attribute. If multiple attribute is not there, then in that case, you cannot upload multiple files here. But if you go to this particular application and here also we have choose files and you try to inspect that and here you will see name is available type equal to file is there id is also available but can you see this particular attribute multiple attributes so this attribute is actually responsible for uploading multiple files so for example let's see if i go to choose files and then i can select all these three files together and then open that and you can see that all three files got uploaded here but if I do the exactly same thing over here, if I go to, let's see, logo and this one, I cannot select that. I see you press control or command. You cannot select the, any other one. You can just select only one and then you can upload the specific file over here. Right. So that's the difference between single upload and multiple upload. And this same feature is available in Playwright also. So let's see how to do this. So first we are going to talk about that single upload. Do we have any support for single upload? Yes. It's very straightforward. So let's create one page dot uh, locator and the locator of that particular choose file. Remember, whenever you have to inspect, you have to check that type equal to file should be there. Plus, you don't need to click on it because if you click on it, it will open that particular window and Playwright cannot automate this window, right? Because this is coming because of your operating system. Playwright cannot go to your C drive or documents or anywhere. Right. So here you don't need to click on this particular button here. We have to supply the path of that particular file. So how to do this? So here I can see that input type equal to this and name is equal to up file. So I'm going to create first of all one locator here that uh, let's see the locator is uh, input. I'm going to create one CSS selector that this is the input and uh, name is equal to this one up file. After that, what you have to do here? Just simple create this particular method set input files method is available. This method says that you can give me the files and then uh, as a complete file object also you can give it that or you can say that here for the single file you can just give me the PDF file or whatever the file is available just give the path of that okay. So let's see select one file let's return over here that's set input file and give me the path of that particular file. Now file could be anywhere in your current project also or it could be in your uh, C drive or D drive or anywhere. So let's say I really want to upload this particular logo file and then uh, logo.png file is there. I just need to get the path of this. So this is my let's see file path. So I'll just copy this, come back to my script and then here in double code, we have to give the path file upload and then whatever the file name, the file name is logo.png. That is what we have to give it here and that's it. So this will just simple upload the file. If I run this program, let's see, is it really working or not? And uh, here you can see that logo is added here. So yeah, this is absolutely working fine here. Now, if I really want to upload multiple files, then in that case, we will launch this particular application that I mentioned over here. And uh, here I want to upload multiple files. So I'll inspect this guy once again. So we will see that multiple attribute is available. Name equal to files to upload. We can use it here. So how to use it? Let's create once again, await page dot a locator. And then locator is this. This is again uh, input and uh, name is equal to files to upload. Or you can say ID also you can take it or name also you can take it. So whatever it is. And then after that, we have to do what? We have to use same thing that set input files method that we have to use it. Now we have to supply multiple files. In order to supply the multiple files, what we can do? You can supply a single file also or multiple file also. So we have to use this particular method path dot join method. So here I'm writing path p small here actually path dot a join. And then we have to supply the 
file paths here. So let's see, for example, I'll just quickly take the file path from here, just copy this and uh, directly come back here. So that is my first file path. I'll do one thing. Let me write in the new line here. So that is my first file path dot join. That is what we have written. And now if you really want to supply the second one, so what you just need to do, put a comma here. And now again, I'm passing a second path. The second path, again, I'm writing path dot join file name to search dot CSV here. And then again, let's say I'm going to write one more that path dot join. I think what we have taken logo search, and then let's take one more AWS dot TXT file. So I'm just going to write AWS dot TXT here. Okay. And then after that, you just need to put a semicolon here. So three things that we have written and remember the set input file is like an array. So you have to combine square bracket here and then closing bracket here. So this is all these three file paths should be within the array only. That's why if you see the syntax here also that it's taking files and uh, it's taking as a string array. And uh, you can see the example also here that set input files coming from the array to array only from here to here. So within the array, you have to write it here. Perfect. And let's see, is it really working or not? So let's run it again. So it should upload these three files together. <clears throat> so you can see that yes, three files got added over here. What if I want to supply only one file that also we can do it exactly same way. So let's see, this is single file. I mean, multiple files and let's add single file also. So I'll write a comment here that this is for the single file and let's say this is for multiple file multiple files here so for single file we just need to path you can supply path dot join also if you want to supply or you can directly supply the path that also we can do it here so let me just comment it out i don't want to use this not multiple files only single file so let's see is it really working with the single file also or not okay so browser is launched and this time only logo dot png got added here so yes this is absolutely working fine here as well. Now there is one more thing that what if I want to deselect the specific file or deselect all the files after selecting all the files. So deselection also you can do it here. So for example, let me just comment it out. I don't want to use single file again, come back here. And now I'm saying that first you select all the files. It means all three files that you have to select. So let me uncomment it. And then I'm saying deselect the all the files from here. So how to do a deselection? So in order to do a deselection with simple, remove all the files, what you have to do, you simply write await dot page dot locator, exactly the same locator that you have to use it. So copy from here to here. And then here again, you have to write set input files, see this. And then here in the bracket, you just need to supply a blank array sign here like that. So what exactly it will do, it will select all these three files and then it will unselect or deselect or remove all the files from there. So I'll do one thing just for the debugging point of view in between. I'm just putting a wait of uh, four seconds here after four seconds, deselect all the files or remove all the files from the selection. So let's see, is it really working or not? And then we will see, can we deselect a specific file also or not? So first you can see all the files got selected. And after four seconds, it says no file selected. It removed all the files from there. So this feature is also available. Simple set input file, same method and supply the blank array here. Now I'll do one thing, same thing I will try with the single selection also. So let's see after single selection, I want to deselect whatever the file it's selected here, logo.png. After that, I want to remove that particular file from here after a few seconds. Now we just need to do one thing. We just need to write, uh, change the name because here the locator name is up file and let's run it here. Let's see, is it really deselecting the single file or not? So you can see that logo is selected and after uh, four seconds or three seconds, no file chosen. It is deselecting with the single selection also perfectly working fine here. Perfect. Now there is one more thing. For example, let's see if I select that particular choose file or let's see single selection, click on this and let's see aws.txt or whatever it is. And then I click on press, right? And then you can see that whatever in that particular file, the content is visible here. So what if at the runtime, I want to create my own file, give the content as a buffer, and then I want to upload that file, right? So that also from the buffer also, we can do it. Buffer means from the temporary file or temporary buffer location also, 
we can give the file and uh, on the fly we can create a file also from there how to do this so let's create that so i'll do one thing see this what we have to do simple copy this from here so i'm writing upload the file from the buffer so this feature is also available that on the fly if you really want to create a file that also you can do that so it means buffer upload a file from the buffer memory we can say that okay so simple use this one and uh, here again same method that set input files method that you have to use it and you can see upload buffer from memory so here we just need to write set input files and then you have to create whatever the file name you have to give the mime type that text plane or something and then you have to give whatever the buffer information like what exactly the content of this file this is test or something that also we can write it here so i'll do one thing exactly same thing i'm just going to copy from here to here and uh, i'll just supply here so let's see set input files put a bracket and then supply the values over here whatever the file name that you want to give so let's see my file name is naveen underscore uh, let's see resume dot txt file text plane that i want to write and this is my let's see this is naveen resume right something like this let's see i really want to write it here and then let me just uh, comment it out all these things i don't want to use single upload or anything directly launch this application on the fly create this particular file that file type is text plane and this is the content that I really want to supply. Let's see, is it really working or not? So let's run it. Same thing, you can use it with the multi-selection also. So you can see that Naveen resume .txt, I'll manually click on it and you can say, yeah, this is Naveen resume was there. See, right? So this is absolutely working fine. So like this also, upload the file. So I'll write it, upload file from buffer memory also we can do it from there so i hope you liked it so single selection is possible multi-selection is also possible deselection also possible upload from the a buffer also buffer memory also it's possible here and then you have to make sure people might ask you at the time of interview which attribute in the file upload is responsible for the multi-selection so remember multiple attribute is there then only you can upload the file and make sure that both the in both the uh, choose file, whatever the examples that we have covered, for uploading the file, this attribute is important. You can see that type equal to file should be there. If it is not there, you can ask a developer to put the type equal to file. So in 99% cases, you will always see type equal to file. If it is not there, you have to ask your developer to use type equal to file from there. So I hope this is clear. That's all for the video. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all guys.